10, a local senior center is getting a little creative this Valentine's Day. Photojournalist Jim Rader shows us how staff at the Heritage Center in Portage are helping residents feel the love. I was just wondering if you even wanted to cancel today, but... Oh, no, no, no. Are you kidding? It's not so bad. <laughs> it's good to see my, my family. I think they look forward to coming, too. <laughs> I found a picture of this place, I think it was in England somewhere, and they had um, built this booth for visiting. And I snapped a picture of it, and I showed it to Paula, who is our marketing coordinator here, and I said, you know, I think, I wonder if this is something that we could do. Paula and I have had fun decorating it for the holidays. We had a Christmas tree up at Christmas, and, We've just gone hog wild with balloons for Valentine's Day, um, and the families are just so appreciative. So we used to get together every Monday night, and they'd come to my apartment, mm -hmm. and uh, we'd eat together. They'd bring something. So I do miss that. And I'm celebrating four years here this, this month. Mm -hmm. So this will be my fourth year here. This is probably the closest they've been to their families. So at least this way, they can still see their families. Are you excited to see your family today? Oh, I always see them. Mm -hmm. Always. Yes. Especially every other Monday when they bring food. <laughs> <laughs> Photojournalist Jim Rader, our thanks to him. Organizers say they actually got the idea from a social media post from England, and so far they've gotten a lot of use out of it.